There, uh, there really aren't words to kind of put into a play how I feel today. I told my family all day, I said, it feels like my like, wedding day for country music to step on this stage. And uh, man, you know, I'm from Nashville, so I have so many people here tonight that have supported me from day one and been a part of this journey. And uh, so this is really special. Thank you guys for being here and welcoming me to the Grand Old Opera stage for the first time. I was, uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. I'm gonna try to make it quick, but uh, like they said, I wrote my first song after coming to the Grand Old Opry when I was seven years old, and I decided right then and there I was gonna write songs for the rest of my life, and uh, my dream was to play them on this stage. Well, uh, I was 14 years old, and uh, I, wrote, I wrote a song when I was 14 about my great-grandparents. And, uh, and they, uh, they lived in a small town of Crothersville, Missouri their whole lives. And uh, they got married when they were 15. And uh, I was lucky enough to get to know them uh, through my life. And, and when my great-grandmother passed away, I was 13. And uh, I wrote a song about their love story. And uh, I, remember, I remember playing that song for my parents when I was 14. Right after I'd written it, we were down in the living room. And uh, I played this song. And uh, I finished, and both my parents were crying. And, and I remember my mom looked at me and she said, first thing, she said, uh, so you're gonna play that song at the Grand Old Opry one day. So uh, I thought about this moment a lot and uh, how much this means to me. And, and I knew I could get up here, I could play my radio single and whatever the label wants to you know, put out next. But I just wanted to make this uh, a little more special than that. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna play a song I wrote by myself at 14 years old. My grandparents, they love the Grand Ole Opry, so uh, I know they're watching up there, but this song is uh, about Peg and Dewey Coomer, and it's called uh, Jesus and Me. Well, it was me and Grandpa on the front porch one Christmas Eve Telling stories about his daddy And the war, a little bit of everything You should have seen his face light up When I asked him about Grandma He said that daddy told us We were way too young and her mama said that I wasn't the one Oh, but I didn't care When I got down on one knee Cause she loved Jesus and me but Ain't it funny the way life goes Spend your whole life searching for someone But when you find it, you just know Cause there's something about the look in her eye That'll tell you if it's meant to be Well, it was easy to see Cause she loved Jesus and me Said I didn't have I had I spent on that ring But I knew that together We could make it through anything Yeah, we had nothing But we had everything we could need Oh, she loved Jesus and me Someone. When you find it, you just know Cause there's something about the look in her eye That'll tell you if it's meant to be Cause it was easy to see Cause she loved Jesus and me He said, let me tell you son When you're searching for the one You should look for someone who's like you Mama, whether you're 16 or 62, one 
Searching for someone when you find that you just know. Cause there's something about the look in her eye that'll tell you it's meant to be. Cause <laughs> it's easy to see. She loved Jesus and me. Randall Opry, thank you guys so much. For the very first time on the Grand Ole Opry stage, ladies and gentlemen, Connor Smith. And for those listening, that is the sound of a standing ovation in the Opry House. Very nice. Connor Smith again, ladies and gentlemen.